Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's challenge is, by your request, to create an object using the SubD tool in Rhino. I chose this car as a reference. Let's model it. I need a picture as a reference to start modeling. Drag the picture in Rhino 3D. By scaling, rotating, and copying the picture, I adjust the picture for easy access to all three views. By scaling, rotating, and copying the picture, I adjust the picture for easy access to all three views. Draw a polyline in the middle of the shape. Next, start tracing the plan of the car using the Curve Interpolate Points command. Use the mirror and join to complete the plan. Delete extra views of the car by trim. By extruding the shape, making it solid, and creating the body of the car. For better control of each part of the shape, use the quad remesh command. Then convert it to sub D for smooth selection and editing. To simplify modeling, I use the Reflect Sub-D Object command, which creates a guideline where any changes made to one side will automatically reflect on the other side. Lock the reference picture to work easily. To change and shape the car body like dough, we need to use Control shift left click to select and edit Sub-D faces and Sub-D edges. This procedure may take lots of time and effort. Be patient.
This procedure may take lots of time and effort. Be patient. To change and shape the car body like dough, we need to use Control shift left click to select and edit Sub-D faces and Sub-D edges. This procedure may take lots of time and effort. Be patient. For the tire area, I draw circles and use the Curve Interpolate Points command. To change and shape the car body like dough, we need to use Control shift left click to select and edit Sub-D faces and Sub-D edges. This procedure may take lots of time and effort. Be patient.
By the split command, I cut out the tire placement. Extrude the circles as a tire, and by the fillet edges command, I smooth the edges of the tire, and then mirror them for the other side. I found some errors in my car's body. The easiest and fastest way to get a better finish is to use the quad remesh command again. Just increase the target quad count for fixing the errors and better finish. and then convert it to sub D. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please let me know by leaving a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next tutorial.